So this one's number 59 out of the back of the book, chapter and chapter 13, the back of the chapter. And this one's dealing with the collision model and one of the big formulas associated with the collision model. So we have the activation energy of a reaction is 56.8 kilojoules per mole, and the frequency factor is 1.5 times 10 to the 11th per second. And it wants us to calculate the rate constant at a, t at a 25 degrees Celsius. So remember, everything is important, and our major formula for this is K equals AE to the negative EA over RT, right, in the power. So what are these variables is a big question. A is the, what is A? That is the, sorry, the frequency factor, right? And we're going to raise E to the negative activation energy over RT. I know I need to find a skinnier pen because it's getting a little crowded. All right, so we have K to the AE. So we can basically plug in all these values. So what are we going to deal with first? We have activation energy, EA. We have frequency factor, which is A. And we have a T. So what we don't have, and we have R, right? And which R are we using in these equations? We're going to be using the 8.314 R because that R has joules in the ants, in its units. Joules, right? Per mole Kelvin. Remember, it's not the other R. It's, this is the R. So it's also important to note that this is per joules, right? It's in joules. So the first thing we need to do is convert this kilojoules. 56.8. I hope so showing up. But maybe not. 56.8 kilojoules. We have to convert that into joules because, first of all, it is SI units to be in joules. And that this R is in joules. So if we convert that to joules, we're going to just, it's going to be times a thousand, right? So we're going to have 56,800 joules. I guess I could have keep on by the sharpie over here. So we have 56 joules, right? Per mole. That's our EA. We have the frequency factor. 1.5 times 10 to the 11th is our A. And then we have our T. We're going to have to add 273 to get to Kelvins, right? So that is going to be our final So how do we, we're going to add that. We're going to get, what is that, 298, right? 298 Kelvin. Kelvin is our T. And then we're going to have to find K. So we're just going to plug this in. And this is where it's important to make sure your calculator is being, you're putting things into your calculators correctly. And so we're going to put K is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 11th times E. And we're going to raise E, and remember the E from natural log E, to the negative... 56,800 divided by 8.314 times 298. So remember, let's put, make sure we put that in correctly. And when you solve it all out, you're going to get roughly k is equal to 17 inverse seconds. Now, you don't need natural logs or anything like that because all the formula, it's all set up in terms of k. If we're solving for a or something like that, we would need natural log. But this one we're just solving for K and it's just 17 per second.